everyone, this is Rick Pasek, Flyfish Fanatic, and uh, welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today I'm going to play with a little buzzer pattern. Uh, this is an experimental pattern. Um, I've done well with this color scheme before, but not in this pattern, so it's a bit experimental. I'll uh, tie it up for you guys, and I'll be trying it this uh, spring and summer and fall. Um, so I'll report back to you guys, and unless you guys tie it up yourselves. But uh, like I said, I've, I've done well with this with these colors, but uh, never in this uh, exact uh, pattern. So we will see. So let's get her going. So we'll start off with a, I probably had it in the vise before I started, but a Hens BL554 in a size 12. I tie these in a 10 through 14, like this style. Um, not necessarily this color scheme, but so that's the hook. And then I will be using some Semperfly Nano Silk in copper. I'll be using some Semperfly 0.1 mil light gold wire. Some Semperfly 0.1 mil bright silver wire. And some Semperfly mirror tinsel. 169th in the Mirage. Um, actually, if I had the thicker one, I'd probably use the thicker one, just a little easier. And then I'll be using some Semperfly um, Sunburst uh, um, Fluorescent Orange Goose Biots and some Burnt Orange uh, Vacuna Dubbing, Alpaca Dubbing. Okay? So, fairly easy pattern. Uh, just, uh, just, uh, I mean, it is small, smaller. So I'm tying the biggest one that I normally. I wouldn't. Tens are very rare. Twelves and fourteens, sixteens, four, twelves and fourteens are probably what I use the most. Um, in again, this style, not so much this one, but. Um, so I'll go back to about there. Just gonna give it a flatten my thread. Come back. To roughly where my abdomen's gonna start, my thorax right, is gonna start, right about there, give or take. Now I'm gonna take the two wires. So there's my bright gold. Oh, bugger. It's been one of those uh, those mornings. You know how we get those mornings where you feel like your fingers are six times fatter than they normally are? That's the way it is. I, I guess it's because I've been using, I've been tying a lot of bigger flies for preparation for my move to Mexico. So um, I just have to get back into the little guys again. So, okay, stop there. Now I'm going to take my, oh, if I can find where, I'm, there it is, my Mirage tinsel. Like I said, I normally, uh, if on, on this type of pattern, unless I was using this as a rib, I usually wouldn't do this as a as a body in this small, but uh, it's what I have, so it's what I have. So again, I'm just tying this down, down to around the corner here. Uh, probably gonna go a little bit further than I did. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna give it again a counterclockwise spin. Flatten that thread. And then I want to have that nice copper underlayer. So I want to cover up as much as this stuff that I can. Sorry, I know it's going out of focus there, but actually I'll ask that question. Anybody that's out there that watches my videos that's a camera expert, I'm trying to make figure out a way, and I don't know how to do it. And I know other guys do it, but when I do this, it goes out of focus. When I stay here, it, it's good, right? Um, but as soon as I put it onto auto focus, it doesn't work that well. Um, and I'm using a Canon EOS Rebel T7. So um, with a 18 to 55 mil lens on it. So yeah, if anybody out there is a camera dude or dudette, um, let me know and maybe you can help me out. So. I am going to now take my wires and get them out of the way and then I'm going to wrap my Mirage tinsel forward, touching slightly overlapping wraps 
Um, again, even even if you don't have a little bit of that copper thread, like right there, show through, no, nah, it'd be actually good. Just gives it a little bit more unnatural look, a natural look, a not the unnatural perfection of of, uh, of how we tie, right? So, so I'm just gonna bring this forward a little bit past where I'm gonna start with my thorax. Come back in, tie that off. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I'm tying this, I what I do here to, to, when I let go is I pinch the material between my bobbin and my thumb, and then re grab it right from underneath. That way, you never lose control of it. So that's one. So now what I do here is I take both wires at the same time and I'm going to bring this back a bit because I do have a tendency of bumping it so uh, bring both wires at the same time and just make sure they're nice and tight against each other as tight as you can at least and yeah just I just bring them both at the same time I mean you, you can do them separate that's up to you and again here I'll come back with my thread and I'll pull this nice and tight and again I'm gonna watch I'll pinch see I'm pinching right now so I can't let go pinch pinch bring that forward helicopter off my wires I'm gonna come back to about about halfway and I'm gonna actually change my angle of my hook here a bit so this is flatter up top Let's see if I can actually get this a little clearer for you guys. And that's pretty good there. Okay, so now I'm going to take two of the Sunburst Orange Goose Biots. I really like the effect that Goose Biots do for cheeks, other over the... Um, like some people use stretch floss, which I do too, but I really like the effect these these really bright, hollow um, goose by its spring. I really like that effect. So I'm just going to tie that in kind of on the side underneath. And then again, the same here. This is going to be on the side and it should pull it down a bit as I go back. There, make sure those are tied down very nicely. Normally here, what I would do normally on a buzzer is build up a football shape for a uh, for my thorax. But this time, what I'm going to do, like I said, this is a, a it's an experimental fly. So I've seen throat samples of flies like this, so that's why I've been playing with it. So we'll see. So now I'm going to take this vicuna dubbing this. Um, burnt orange. Just dump that on. Just come f dump it in here. A bit more. I actually just picked this uh, Vicuna dubbing up off of uh, Token's Fly Shop in BC for uh, tying my uh, my. Um, Tropical shrimp patterns is what I bought it for, actually. But it's just, it's buggy. It's nice and buggy, this stuff. So I've just been playing with this Vicuna dubbing a bit. See how it is. So far, quite impressed with it. So, okay. Stroke that all back. A couple of wraps in front. And now, just like you would normally do, bring your cheeks forward and up. I'll get rid of that dubbing that's in the eye in a bit. Okay. And then I'm holding really tight with my thread. Just wiggle those off. Take my whip finishing tool. Pull that stuff back as much as you can. Whip finish. And then I'll take 
make some sallies, put it right on the thread. Another thing I, I, I do normally with this pattern or these types of patterns is I'll do a whole bunch of just the bodies and then I'll hit them all with UV resin, let them dry, and then dry them and then hit them with uh, Sally Hansen's, let that dry and then I go ahead and build up the thorax and wing buds and all that. So a few of these really long ones I'll chop off, I don't want the really long buggers. Right. Other than that, that is the fly. A bit buggy. You can add a little bit of weight to it if you want. You can put a, uh, a bead underneath the dubbing and, and put uh, and then just dub over top of the bead. Um, or you can put some uh, really thin underbody lead, like some uh, flat lead. But I like fishing buzzers slowly through the water column. I like them sinking slow. Let the fish find them. So, but yeah. So that's it. That's uh, that's the uh, that's the little experimental uh, little buzzer that I'm uh, I'm playing with. I'm playing with multiple different colors of this, but um, th this color here is one that uh, I'm kind of intrigued with. I'm tr and I think uh, I feel like I said I've seen a few uh, a few uh, throat samples with uh, with this color scheme, this kind of this coppery orange. So I'm uh, yeah looking forward to trying her out. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you've subscribed, thank you very much. If you have not, please consider doing so. Um, give this uh, video a like, give it a share, let uh, other people know about it, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next uh, tying video. Tie lines are on. Mm -hmm.